What's up everybody, look today I wanna to talk to you about camera shake, okay? One way you can introduce camera shake into your images is by shooting on a low shutter. What do I mean by a low shutter? I mean, you may be shooting at something like one over 30, one over 15, one over five. That's too low, nine times out of 10 for you to hand hell. So with that being said, you might want to use a tripod if you have to shoot that low or just increase your shutter, okay? If you don't have enough light at that point in time, you can always, you can change your f-stop, you can crank up your ISO, or you can introduce artificial lighting, okay? Another thing is something that I have to check, I like to chew gum. So one thing about it is if you're chewing gum, while you're taking photos, that could be a recipe for camera shake. So one way to avoid that, hold your chew, okay? Easy as pie. Another thing is with camera shake, are you holding the camera properly, okay? I'm right-handed, so basically what I do is I hold the camera like this. If I'm not using the viewfinder, right? The electronic viewfinder, excuse me. I like to hold the camera like this in a locked position so that you can stabilize using your elbow right here to your body and you can lock in your wrist, hold it up. And sometimes, I'm gonna give you a pro tip. Sometimes what I do is I inhale and exhale at certain points so that I can guarantee the camera being as steady as possible when I take the photo, okay? But this is just a few of the number of ways that you can stop camera shake, but um, you know, if you have any other questions, I'll let your boy.